Good afternoon guys. Happy Thursday to all of your sunshiny faces. So I've got my grocery hauls for you guys from today. Um, Walgreens, I think I figured out what the problem was. So I'll explain that to you guys because I was really confused this last week what ended up happening. This week I had, and like I said, I'll tell you guys how I figured this out, but $2 worth of coupons that didn't end up technically coming off because a different coupon applied and that's how I've now figured out I think what ended up happening. So like I said, I'll share that with you guys in Walgreens and what I think the problem is. Um, and then, um, like I said, that was just one thing, but they didn't have something. So I ended up having to change my scenario around a little bit. So I ended up sort of spending a little bit more out of pocket than I was planning on, plus the $2 worth of coupons that didn't end up coming off. Um, but Valley Produce, um, I also bought two extra things, but one was cheaper than where I bought it the last time I had to get it. And one thing was uh, 10 cents more than what I paid at Aldi last week. So that's why I ended up picking them up. Um, so like I said, I'll share all the deals with you guys. But all in all, we were right around like at budget. Again, with what I had to change at Walgreens, it still wasn't that much of a difference and still less than last week. And then um, at Valley Produce, um, we ended up spending about $5 more. Um, and like I said, I'll share that with you guys. Um, and then Caputo's, we spent technically $5 more, but I wasn't sure if I was going to get ribs or not, which we did wind up getting. Originally, I had estimated $10. Like, I always leave myself, like, with tax, you know, what it'll probably wind up costing. So that way, if I'm like, you know, it'll probably be around $10, and all of a sudden, we go up there, and the total's $30, I'll be like, that's not right, <laughs> you know? So, um, like I said, when I went up there, and I had wasn't sure if we were going to get the ribs or not, which we did wind up getting, so I ended up adding that. Um, like, it was actually only $5 more we paid like just it was 14 something and my estimate was ten dollars so like i said when i'm figuring out sort of two to make sure that we're staying under budget like only being five dollars over wasn't that bad walgreens too i said about 15 after tax i think we ended up paying 17 which like i said with all the changes and everything i had to make plus um not you know having the coupon come off it was only like two dollars or three dollars sort of more um and then like i said valley produce we were about five dollars more but i think at meyer um i had estimated i think 60 or maybe i said 55 and we were close to 60 dollars something like that but like i said either way um like it wasn't we've <laughs> slowly just been like a couple dollars more than what i've actually been estimating um but again too like i've been sort of adding things in at a couple different stores than i was planning on so anyways let me share with you guys the deals that were actually going on for this week and what i ended up coming up with like i said the changes i ended up making and all of that all right so here's what we ended up picking up from walgreens these items would have cost 34 dollars and 12 cents we played paid $15.97 plus tax and saved $18.15 uh, and then we ended up using $5 in Walgreens cash and I got back $13.20. I got $9.20 back in Walgreens cash and a $4 register award so my net cost for everything was $7.77. Like I said this should have been about $2 cheaper at least because of the coupon. So what I had done was I had a coupon on the Garnier. This was advertised this week. They're on sale for seven dollars there's a three dollar off two coupon and then you get four dollars in walgreens cash back so that makes them completely free which is awesome however the three dollar coupon didn't apply but i did also clip in the like digital walgreens coupons a dollar off of one coupon which did wind up coming off so what i have sort of concluded from what happened um last week but then also this week as well is that if i'm buying two different products so I bought shampoo and conditioner. Um, it wasn't taking the coupon off, which was the similar to what happened last week. I bought two of the exact same type of Palm Olive dish soap. That coupon came off, but my uh, Colgate coupon didn't. And also too, I think I used a coupon on the Tresme or something like that also from last week because I bought again a shampoo and conditioner. Now this is never the way that it has been in the past. This is I think just like a glitch in the system or something like that because it doesn't you know like the you I've always been able to do that. It doesn't say that you have to buy two of the exact same items but I think that for whatever reason the computer is not like recognizing you buying two when it's two different products so like a shampoo and a conditioner or last 
last week when I bought the Colgate toothpaste, I bought one that was like a blue box, like uh, like the Max Fresh, like fresh kind and then the like um, mint kind or something like that, whatever. It was two different kinds, so that's why that coupon didn't come off. But when I bought the Palm Olive, it was two of the exact same green bottle kinds and that coupon did apply. Now, the reason, like I said, I sort of figured that this was what happened was because the $1 coupon still applied and I used a Colgate coupon that was again $3 off two and I bought two of the exact same, the clean mint kind, this coupon did work. Plus I had the pistachio coupon that was one off one worked. So like I said, I think I figured this out, what this little bug in the system seems to be. But this is very, very weird, very bizarre. It should not be this way. I am thinking that I might like send an email and just see like what the, you know, like that they're aware of this because I'm pretty sure that this is probably not just me that's having this problem. Um, but at least now that I know that I can be like, okay, I'll just buy two shampoos instead of a shampoo and a conditioner or whatever, at least for the time being until like maybe in a couple of weeks, this is out of the system, like this bug or whatever. But obviously if like Walgreens doesn't know about it, it's still going to be a problem. <laughs> so that's why I'm thinking, like I said, to like send an email or something like that. So anyways, um, like I said, but because I was planning on using a $3 off two coupon and it didn't take off, but it did take the $1 off, really it was a difference of $2 that I ended up sort of overpaying with these products. However, what I was planning on doing was a deal where um, I, this, uh, suave men's like body wash it was on sale or normal price two dollars but they're on sale buy one get one 50 percent off so that's three dollars but there was a two dollar off two coupon which would have made it a, a dollar for two or fifty cents each so that's what i was going to do and then i was also going to buy another three of these arnold palmers because they're on sale two dollars for three and I was going to do that and then use $10 in Walgreens cash to cover this. I was expecting to pay about $12 out of pocket and then wind up getting back all of the register awards and, you know, Walgreens cash and everything like that. However, like I said, because they didn't have that in stores, I ended up getting these things, which were about $25, only used $5 in Walgreens cash, plus all the coupons that took off afterwards. I paid about $15 out of pocket, which again, should have actually probably looked a little bit more like close to 12, 13 bucks that I was actually planning on paying because that coupon should have applied. Um, and then again, like I said, that would have ended up making this a little bit, you know, like less out of pocket. But like I said, because of that, I changed it up. So the deals, like I said, going on the Arnold Palmers, these are all on sale $3 for two, um, or sorry, $2 for three. Um, so that makes these about 66, 67 cents each, which is pretty good because they're normal price 99 cents. Um, and then the buy antioxidants drinks. Um, I love these. These and the Arnold Palmers are probably my favorite. And um, especially right now, I've been really into, um, what's it called? Crystal Light. So I've been having a lot of that. Um, but these are on sale for $3 for two which was very similar to the deal I got at Meyer yesterday. So I went ahead and picked these up. These are one of my favorite drinks. So I wound up picking those up as well. And this was just to get my total up high enough so I could redeem Walgreens cash as well. Um, so then the wonderful pistachios, these are on sale for $5.99. There's a dollar off coupon making it $4.99. I told you guys too, I did the exact same deal last week, but like when you compare, these ones are the um, like the shelled kind and the six ounces. When I looked at like Walmart, even like the store brand, these are still significantly cheaper. Um, even if you go with like buying in bulk it's still way cheaper like i said than actually getting the um the kind from walmart so this was a really good deal i'm picking these up for only four bucks plus like i said rolling it into my whole deal i didn't even mind paying that much out of pocket for all of this stuff so that was still pretty good um, the Colgate, these are on sale $3.99. There is a $3 off two coupon. So I used that. I ended up paying about $5 out of pocket or $4.98 for these. And then you get a $4 um, Walgreens cash back for buying two. So that makes these $0.98 cents for two or like $0.49 cents each. Normally I wind up with free toothpaste last week because the coupon didn't take off. It wasn't even free. But um, normally anywhere between like no more than a dollar um, is normally a pretty good price for toothpaste. Also depending on the brand size all that kind of stuff but these again a lot recently I've been getting for free so 49 cents isn't horrible um you know again for that price as well and again rolling it into the whole scenario I knew I wasn't going to pay that much out of pocket anyway and I wanted to try and redeem Walgreens cash and stuff like that too so I, like I said I didn't think it was all that bad then with the Garnier like I've explained to you guys those were on sale for seven dollars use a three dollar off two coupon 
possibly have to buy two of the exact same item <laughs> um, to get that to actually take off again mine only took a dollar off so I still only paid a dollar for two or or two dollars for two or a dollar each after I got the Walgreens or the register award back which was still pretty good so like I said all in all I did I think figure out like I said I've sort of deduced from what happened last week and what ended up happening this week as well with like I bought two of the same here I didn't hear and that's why these coupons ended up applying these ones didn't it was only the dollar off you know all that kind of stuff really weird but it did wind up actually like I said I think I figured it out so at least for the time being I know like just buy two of the exact same shampoos just buy two of the exact same toothpaste if I have that two dollar off of whatever coupon um so since I do have that four dollar register award what I might do is go back buy another three of the Arnold Palmers and two of those that'll total five bucks I can use the four dollar register award just to use it up because I don't like having register awards and again Walgreens and their weird like computer system I always seem to have bugs there like and problems and stuff like that because with that um the register award if I use in a transaction like this where I'm redeeming other um like coupons um it winds up making the register run so slow and we wind up standing there for like 10 minutes honestly one time it was like a good five to ten minutes I think we were standing there like just all sort of looking around being like why is the register taking so long <laughs> and so um but when I do it in a transaction where I don't have any coupons like if I did it on just these items where there's no coupons it'll wind up going through perfectly fine and you know like I said real quick but if I do it where I'm like you know doing it like this and trying to just use the register award up and then cover it on you know a product like the toothpaste or whatever and there's a coupon that's applying it'll just take the register forever like it can't figure it out so um like I said it's it's a pain but I just rather roll it into something where I can just use it up so I might do that so I don't have to worry about trying to find something to do next week I can just use it up right here on like I said those items and just pay a dollar out of pocket just to like I said roll that so that might be what I wind up actually doing, um, like I said, probably on like Sunday when we wind up going grocery shopping. So then over here, this was what we ended up picking up at Valley Produce. We ended up paying uh, $48.58 tax. So we ended up paying just under 50 bucks in total for everything. So first off, they ended up having the Glacier Clear um, water, the purified drinking water it was $1.99. It, it was advertised as the essential every day, but our store at least ended up substituting. They did have a sign that said that they were substituting it because they didn't have any more of that left. So luckily they did still have a lot left, but $1.99 right now for water is a great price. The cheapest that I have seen it almost at all is just a little over $2.50. So this was awesome. Like Menards had it for $2.66 last week. Um, and I think the sales running this week too, but I was like, hey, I I can get that even cheaper I'm gonna go ahead and do it so that was a really good price for that they were a limited three so we went ahead and picked up three of those we also ended up picking up the um the like uh what's it called the burgers um the pub burgers these were on sale for a dollar each 10 for 10 so we picked up a whole package for ten dollars um and then we also ended up getting the um coleslaw and the um the potato salad and macaroni salad. Those were on sale for $1.19 each. So this we paid $2.68 for, $2.67, and $2.54. Um, and then we also ended up getting three things of the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Those were on sale for $0.89, cents, a limit of three. So we picked up three of those. We also got the Eckridge smoked uh, cherry wood smoked ham. This was on sale for uh, $4.49 a pound. We got about a pound, paid $4.53 for that. And also too, I realized we were like completely out of American cheese. I think I told you guys when I was making those like uh, breakfast sandwiches last um, Sunday or whatever that I used up pretty much all of it and that's why I couldn't make any more. So I got a full pound at $3.99 and we paid $4.31 for that. We also picked up these um, little Freedom Gummy Bears which were on sale for $2.99. We paid $2.48 for those. We also got, this was the thing that I didn't see advertised, but they were $1.99. We paid $1.89 last week at, at Aldi and I used up a lot of them for those parfaits that I made so I thought that was pretty good we'll go ahead and pick those up for that price so that's what we ended up doing and then um, we ended up picking up the cauliflower that was on sale for 99 cents a pound we got almost two pounds we paid 193 the romaine lettuce was 99 cents a pound as well we got a little over a pound it was 134 for that the um, tomatoes those were on sale for 78 cents a pound we got a little over a pound and paid 87 cents and the green bell peppers we got three of those at a dollar and 49 cents a pound we got a little under a pound 
pound um, or a little under two pounds for two dollars and 65 cents we also needed that for um the brats which i think i'm going to do tomorrow because literally i it don't have anything that I there's very few things that I actually need from like Aldi like extra or anything like that like buns or you know anything and this at Walmart is two dollars and 48 cents we had to pick one up the last time we did brats like two weeks ago I think it was this was only 199 at Valley Produce so I was like hey I knew what I just paid for that the other day at Walmart um so I know that I'll get this for cheaper which is 199 so we went ahead and picked that up then instead at Valley Produce and instead of having to make a separate run out to like Walmart, that was actually like reasonably a better deal than like it's a Walmart. And I even checked the price then when we ended up leaving um, to make sure and it was still $2.48. So I still saved about 50 cents off that. Um, so that's what I think we're going to do tomorrow because like I said, I'm going to do probably brats and the rest of the shrimp. I had a two pound bag of shrimp and I used up half of that last week. So I think I'll use the other half this week. Um, and we'll do those two things. But like I got the buns for that yesterday at Meyer. I got that this week. Um, and then I also have onions already in the pantry. Like I don't need anything extra for that. So I can do those tomorrow. Then we also too have the, um, we have burgers and I have frozen burgers already that I think I'm going to defrost some of those other ones and then do those and I got those buns yesterday at Meyer. so like I don't need anything extra from Aldi like we have the salads we have the watermelon we have the corn like I can start again we're gonna pretty much grill the entire weekend um because my dad's off work until Tuesday so we're gonna probably grill again like Friday through Tuesday or th Friday through Monday um so like all in all I don't need anything extra from Aldi I can just again use up sort of the stuff that we're already you know we already have and we've already been getting so to share with you guys real quick what we ended up picking up then at um Caputo. So this was our last small little haul like I was telling you guys we ended up paying um $14.87 plus tax, which we paid just a little over 15 after tax. The celery was actually something I was not planning on getting. This was 99 cents, but at Valley Produce, I was like, should I get it? Should I not get it? Because it was a dollar and 29 cents I think per pound and so I actually found this 99 cents so I went ahead and picked this up really for the guinea pig but what I want to start doing is if you cut it about like right here and then you can start actually regrowing this and then I can just regrow it in the window in water and then plant it outside so that might be what I do I don't know how long it's going to take though it doesn't take that long to regrow it um like from scrap like you can start to actually get like it to root pretty early on and then you can plant it in the garden but I don't know how much will actually get back out of it this year um but we can always try it again too like for next year so that was one like sort of thing that I wasn't originally planning on getting um and I'm going to do the same thing too with the romaine lettuce we also got that for the guinea pig but I'm going to do the same thing slice it at the bottom and then you can just start it in like a cup of water um like a shallow dish of water and I'm going to start it in the windowsill and then we can just regrow it and plant it in the garden and getting deals on it you know as well so we got that and then also the limes were on sale a dollar for 10 so I picked up 10 of those we also ended up getting the um Vidalia onion that was on sale for 99 cents a pound the one was almost a pound it was 93 cents we paid and then the cluster tomatoes were 99 cents also and we ended up getting a little under a pound and a half and paid a dollar and 20 cents and then lastly we ended up getting the um pork like the baby back ribs these were on sale for 2.99 um a pound they i think Aldi had the spare ribs maybe for $2.99 a pound. Um, these were $3.99. I don't know what I just said. But um, we ended up getting about two and a half pounds. We paid $10.57 for that. Um, and these actually too, I should be able to cook in the slow cooker. And then we can do on the grill. Um, because they're not too, it's a smaller package. Which was what I was hoping for. So that's why, like I said, my estimate was actually going to be about 10 bucks maybe for these things. But then with the pork even too, we ended up not paying that much more for it in total like i said for even everything that we ended up getting so we ended up sort of getting a lot of meat already so far like with the pork um with the ribs with the um the hamburgers and well i was going to get my burgers at meyer yesterday but we didn't i don't think we actually got meat yesterday at meyer but aldi does have three meat deals i think i'm gonna do so like i'm actually still thinking we'll probably be under budget even less than what we were last week 
but um, I'm gonna be getting a lot more meat than I did last week so again it's just like buying when stuff's on sale not you know like not buying stuff when it's not on sale and so like this week because it is you know like the um, you know 4th of July there's a lot of meat sales going on so like they have brats on sale at um, Aldi that I'm gonna pick up like the party pack tomorrow I can do three freezer dinners with that or not tomorrow on Sunday when we go and also to um, the they have uh i forget what else i was gonna get i think chicken breast um which is still isn't really a good deal for chicken breast but i want to do just chicken chicken skewers um and i think there was a third thing too that i was like oh we should pick that up maybe too maybe it was the ribs and i was like maybe we'll get the ribs here i don't know what i was planning on but either way um all in all like I said, I think we'll actually be under budget for this week, which will be pretty good. Um, so anyways, I'm going to get this stuff all put away. I thought I'd just share with you guys. I actually had like an appointment this morning that I had to go to. So I haven't even really like been home to do much. I did do laundry before we left. I'm going to try and do dishes before like i after i get this stuff put away and then i'm gonna try and edit and upload as well um and just sort of do that in the afternoon right now so anyways like i said i gotta get all this put away but i thought i'd just share with you guys all the deals that are going on as far as um you know fourth of july stuff and sales and things like that so like i said they're really surprisingly wasn't actually that many deals and wasn't that many good deals going on like they didn't have a lot of extra stuff like other than like the water and even like the the barbecue sauce wasn't that good of a deal but i was like okay like you know i guess we can try it whatever but but anyways i'm gonna get it all put away well guys i'm gonna take a shower now and get to bed i am happy to have the grocery shopping done and again to not need anything like to have to go to aldi and be like oh we needed buns for this or again we needed you know like we were gonna get corn or you know watermelon or like whatever you know at Aldi like I don't need anything from any you know like again to do any cooking before Saturday or Sunday when we wind up going so that's really nice um and then on top of that too just having the grocery shopping done like we don't have to go to Meyer on Saturday morning either like that's finished so um like I said I'm just happy to have it all done um you know and then tomorrow since my dad will be home we have all day to do projects and Saturday we'll have up until pretty much like the afternoon which we normally don't do much after that anyway so that'll be nice but again we have more time in the weekend and then too like on probably not so much on Monday but maybe on Tuesday Day because my mom will probably be sleeping on Monday um and then too I don't really know entirely what's going on for the 4th of July like normally the town that my grandma used to live in they always did their 4th of July parade on the 3rd and so but because it's sa Sunday my mom was working and normally Sundays are sort of the worst day for her like sleeping and like like sometimes on on Mondays she'll wind up still getting up early um not early but like before noon sometimes because again she works a night shift so um and then Saturday is again like she might just take a nap on Saturday like late afternoon before she has to go to work at 11 o'clock so like that works out you know well but like Sundays are like really bad because she gets home at eight o'clock in the morning she winds up sleeping pretty much almost all day until she winds up going having to go back to work at 11 o'clock um so she winds up sleeping for like a good portion like she's normally up for like dinner but then that's sort of it so like I said she normally doesn't have like all of that much time yeah like on Sunday so I don't know if we're gonna wind up going to that or doing any anything um as far as like celebrations or anything like that goes or you know like fireworks anything um I think like I said it's probably just gonna be you know being at home hanging around you know grilling um and uh probably again just trying to get to as many projects as possible but it is supposed to rain tomorrow at some point i don't know when or how long um but it is supposed to rain so again we might not have all day tomorrow and whatever time we don't though we might be able to still like do something out in the garage maybe try and build something that we haven't finished yet or like my dad needs to stain the wood um in the garage you know like any of that kind of stuff and and um you know also to just like we could maybe again do other stuff inside if, while it's raining tomorrow and then try and do you know again stuff in the afternoon or again if it's the opposite try and get stuff done earlier in the day and then you know if it rains in the afternoon or whatever I should probably check to see when that looks like it's going to be but we've got a lot of things to do my dad I think has all the wood so we can hopefully finish all of the vegetable garden beds finish building those that would be really nice and again as far as really 
hopefully anything else goes like we have a handful of other projects but i'll share that with you guys all probably over this weekend but if you guys did enjoy today's vlog make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys